329.2 miles yesterday. Right, so yeah, today we're headed off. We're doing this route. I've called it the Butte Loop. So uh, it's really foggy this morning. Just up in the about 200 feet, 150. In fact, it's even lower than that. About 100 feet cloud base this morning. So we're going to head off. Hopefully, by the time we get to the next valley along, it will be cleared. The cloud tends to get trapped, so that might be what's causing this. Although after yesterday morning, because yesterday morning was uh, a bit dreek, as they say, on the way up to Sky, it started drizzling. So around Eilie and Donald, Eilie and Donald Castle, it was uh, a bit drizzly. I thought I was going to get wet. I bought, I've packed the waterproofs today. I'm not taking that stupid chance again. I have to keep reminding myself I'm in Scotland. Regardless of what the weather forecast says, you get lots of little microclimates as you're heading through these valleys so it's just a case of being sensible and taking appropriate kit regardless of how much it annoys you when it's when it keeps falling out the top box every time you open it it's cooler again this morning 11 degrees c warmer than yesterday it's only six six and then again, you know, it's only nearly July, so I'm not sure this is officially the Scottish summer. But the thing is for Scotland, if it's not raining, it's sunshine. Regardless of how grey it is. Great day yesterday. I was exhausted last night. I was so tired. I was downloading the memory cards. Uh, of which when you're shooting 2.7k for <laughs> nine hours <laughs> there is one hell of a lot of data to download so um, yeah it took me well quite a long time actually which is why I'd forgotten to zero the memory card on that rear camera I'm hoping that's re still working that rear camera I can't see Beautiful. Look at that sunshine on that mountain. You go around a bend and you're out of the fog and into the beauty that is Scotland. Oh man. Look at that. How pretty is that? It just looks mm, staggeringly stunning bloody stunning oh god there's somewhere to stop I need a photo well, I need a photo man I don't know what accent that is sorry 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 people of the northeast I apologize unreservedly I do love accents so I absolutely love accents look the fog's all up that end and now we're out in the sunshine. How amazing, how beautiful. I had a funny feeling that this is how it would be. So the clouds all trapped up there, look. Put that end of the loch. Put that end of the loch, lad. just staggering isn't it? it I just get blown away by it I've been up here for this is uh, day four this is day four including the day that I traveled up so but I, I just don't get tired of looking at these views I consider what my views are back home and I live in quite a nice area you come up here it's just there's just no comparison at all. The 
this is the outskirts of Glencoe. Oh, look at it. Um, I'm going to get sick of hearing me say, oh, look at it. Oh, well, look at it. Well, look at it. <laughs> I was riding through Glencoe when I came up, and uh, there was a big deer, a big female deer, a doe, a deer, a female deer. Uh, sorry, I'm annoying myself now. It just trotted out across the road in front of me. This was in the afternoon as well. It wasn't even like it was twilight. It was in the middle of the afternoon. Man, you don't want to hit one of those. They're enormous. That would break you. It would certainly hurt. The GoPro is going to really compress these images. So what you're seeing, you're probably looking at mountains that don't look too impressive at all. But you need to be here. <laughs> you really need to be here because it is very impressive. Likewise. Epic. I've used it again. Breaking out the epic. Here, 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 here. Oh, shitting! Jesus Christ! And he carried straight on then. It's a bit of a stupid thing to do. Break from that sort of speed. What a tit! Never mind. No harm done this time. Glencoe is just majestic. We're on a journey Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Yeah, 
Let's fire the drone. That was a nice little stop. Cool little river. This is pretty much off grid up here. It's just coming up for 10 o'clock. Well, Richie Vidi, you're absolutely right. Always take the road less travelled. If I hadn't come down here, I would never have known what a fantastic place this is cameras seem to have calmed down and not being quite so annoying as they have been. I just keep turning off. So I'm running them all without batteries in today, so they're all connected directly to power. Two are powered by the bike and one, the helmet cam, is powered by a battery bank. They seem to be less problematic when you take the battery out. I have been so lucky with this weather. You've got to admit, this place is pretty breathtaking. Landscape's flattening out a bit here, isn't it? Relatively speaking, I mean. I don't know why I do it. 
my helmet on. I feel like I'm a little bit protected. People can't hear me. If they can't hear me, they're going to think I'm a right knobhead. Oh, there we go. Oh, Haggis pepper steak pie. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, ladies. Yes, thank you. Waltz across the road, old lady styly. They'll stop for us, Deirdre. So, we'll go and find somewhere with a nice view. Sit and have a haggis steak pie. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look. Right, back on the road. so easy using scenic and uh, beeline create a route in scenic export it to beeline works a treat let's go oh, two three hours three hours ride then excellent that sounds absolutely top three hour ride back so that gives me loads of time for flying the drone having a general easy time which is what it's all about ain't it so another big day tomorrow gonna do the Inverness loop tomorrow I was expecting Michael to contact me Michael's a, a subscriber and I did email him, uh, I did message him and said, look, just email me your number. I know he'd got a busy week on because he was clearing a load of stuff. But he lives over the other side of Inverness. So I was going to meet him for tea and cake, but 
he's not wrong so I'm presuming that he's just too damn busy so another time Michael another time mate the thing is with the way these rides are going I, I sort of uh, yesterday was the only one that I followed properly religiously um, and the only reason that was is because it was sky basically I just wanted to get all the way around sky uh, with the other routes I can just sort of please myself how far I go on them like this one I didn't want to go over to Butte Nice little break getting eaten by the bloody midges, though. Little sods. Yeah, I needed that break off the bike. It was just nice just to sit. Sit and watch the water. 
would have liked to have stayed there longer, but like I say, it has been munched away at by the little effing midges. Thank you. 
Yes. <laughs>